This is a Suno AI. If you haven't heard about this AI yet, then get ready to be amazed. I genuinely think this is the best generative AI as of now. It's actually really, really good. I have been playing around with this uh, here and there for a couple of uh, weeks now. This is like one of those AI, which I think is already perfect. Like it has reached to its perfection. This is an AI which can generate music. You may have heard about the other AIs like similar to this, which can generate musics and all that. But this one is on whole another level. As I said again, I genuinely think this is the best you know, generative AI out there. Using this, you can create your own music and the musics that you generate with it are just absolutely amazing. I am genuinely impressed by this uh, AI. Everybody loves music. Maybe you have different tastes. Maybe you like pop. Maybe you like hip hop. Maybe you like some lo-fi music, dubstep and all that. But no matter what you like, we all love music. Now imagine you can create your own music and it's actually good <laughs> using AI. Okay, I I'm gonna give you guys an example. So this is a song called uh, the chili song that I actually uh, generated using this and this is the first song that I actually liked just listen to this all right when pounding outside rains happen on the pain fill this one of something fierce got us through the pain head into the kitchen where the magic's gonna brew spicy chili simmer wait for the next uh verse just for me and you I mean, this is insane. For me, it gives me goosebumps. This is kind of my type of music. Not always. It depends on the mood, obviously. But this is a song about a chili soap, all right? Uh, maybe the spelling is wrong there, but forgive me, all right? The AI understood, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> so here we have the lyrics, all right? Wind is howling outside, rain tipping on the pane. Okay, you can read it. So that's, this is the song. When I listen to this song, I don't feel like this is a song generated using AI. This is actually really good. There are so many things I want to talk about. You can use uh, the songs that you created for your use. Uh, let's talk about that later. But first, let's go into the Explore tab. Here you can explore the musics created by other people. All right, let's listen to a few of them. Okay. This one is funny, all right? This is a song about capybara, all right? It's a music and it's trending right now in number one. Uh, there is a cyberpunk starter. Okay, let's listen to this. The build up. Now, here, what you need to understand is that you can create any type of music, any. That's the one of the best thing about this. Plus, the musics that you create using this AI are actually really really good now let's actually create a music let me show you guys how this works and how to create a music it's no brainer actually anyone can uh, make music using this but uh, let's go through the tutorial anyway okay go to create tab and then here we have the options song description instrumental and custom i'm gonna turn on the custom so i can put the lyrics but if you don't want to you're okay. I'm gonna recreate the my chili song. <laughs> okay. Every time you create a song using same uh, instruments or same descriptions, it will generate something new. I'm gonna try to recreate that chili song. That's our lyrics. But if you want to have only instruments, you can uh, enable that option, which will automatically disable the custom mode. So you, you'll have only instruments playing, no vocals. All right. For now. Uh, let's actually have a vocal. Let's recreate our fabulous 
chilly song. Now, the style of music. This is really important. Here you can put your music taste or whatever type of music you're trying to make. Pop, hip hop, rap, or you can click on use random style. Uh, uplifting punk. You can keep playing on this actually. Powerful, romantic. Most of the time I actually like slow and chill music. So let's put some custom words in here like that. We can give a title, Chili Soup 2. And recently this got a version 3 update. Uh, so yeah, it's even better now. Now we are ready to click on create to create our music. And in the middle, you'll see a list of all the musics that you have created. Now you can see within a few seconds, we have our Chili Soup 2 song ready. Oh, it's a soap. <laughs> Instead of soup, I wrote soap. Not good. But it's okay. I'm gonna play it actually. It's red light. Hip hop. And it will always give you two uh, variants of the song that you create. Alright, let's listen to the uh, second variant. Yeah. This one is uh, more like my taste, bit slower and uh, kind of deep voice. You know, that's that's what I like. <laughs> like Snoop Dogg style. Okay, I'm not gonna bore you guys with my music, but I have created some non, uh, you know, vocal songs too. I try to create a slow, lo-fi style music. So let's listen to this one maybe. Really useful for studies and, you know. Yeah, look at that. The beat. Perfect. I can't create this my own, okay? This AI can, and anyone can using this AI. And it's not even like, ah, uh, yeah, it's whatever. It's kind of good. No, it's actually good. Whatever it creates most of the time, it's good. I just love this music, this style of music. You know, this AI is so good, so good, like it's perfect. I mean, perfect at what it does. It creates a music and it's good. Now listen to this. Something yellow, a tropical fellow Hanging from a tree A happy little fellow Feel back It's a banana song, okay? What do you expect? <laughs> so you can see this, this one has like auto-tune, a lot of auto-tune. Some maybe for some song it fits, maybe for some songs it doesn't. But the good thing is that you can create any type of music with it. It's so good. Maybe this isn't a good news for music creators out there, but I think it's really good for music lovers or whoever wants their own music. Now, the last thing that I want to talk about is the usage. Okay, I just want to straight go into the ownership and copyright. Let's go there. Now, let's read what they have to say here. All right. Who owns the songs I generated using Sono? If you're a paying subscriber to Sono, then you own the songs you generated while subscribed. So basically, whatever you generate, you actually own, but you have to have a premium subscription. If you're using free version of Sono, we retain ownership of the song you generate, but you are allowed to use those songs on non-commercial purposes. This is actually good. You know, if you're really into the music and you want to create and own your own music, this is actually a great deal. And as you uh, heard the demos and all, I mean, this is actually good. Uh, I want to check out the price. Well, only $8 a month and you can generate 500 songs. That is, that is a steal, at least, uh, in my opinion. If you want to go even bigger, there is $24 a month. I genuinely think this is the most insane generative AI out there, which works perfectly at what it does. This might even feel like I'm being paid to say all these, but no, I, no, this video isn't sponsored by anybody.
not you Watsuno or anybody. I genuinely think this is the most insane AI. Now go ahead and have fun and create your own music and you don't even have to pay anything. Uh, you can use it for free. Uh, daily you can create 10 songs for free and uh, if you really want to own your song that you generated, then go for premium plans. And I think it's worth it. Yeah, if you're into music and you want to have your own music, it's it's worth it, I think. Yeah. Last time, I just want to listen to this. Yeah, this is a song created by me, right? Not actually, technically, no. It was created by AI, but I think I did put a little bit of uh, work in here <laughs> so yeah that's it hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too and yeah that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself have fun bye, -bye.